Walmart setting the tone, cutting quarterly and full year uh, expectations due to the soaring inflation that we're all looking at. Walmart says inflation is causing consumers to pull back on spending as the conference board will release its July Consumer Confidence Index this morning at 10 a.m. Eastern. Obviously, confidence has taken a hit. Ryan, how do you see things? Yeah, I don't think it's a big surprise. If you're a retailer, look, you just went through your biggest boom ever, right? We had all these supply chain constraints. So what did companies and retailers do? They bulked up on inventory where they could get it. And meanwhile, you had everybody sitting at home. So they were ordering a lot more of their goods online. So I think Amazon's going to be another victim of this. Uh, so you have to remember, I mean, the world's changed a lot. Um, you know, since we were sitting in during the pandemic. You know, if you look at spending now, it's shifted. People are going out to restaurants. They're traveling. So I don't know. I mean, consumer confidence is definitely coming down. It's going to come down for last, or, you know, for last month because, again, we had 9.1% inflation. Of course, people are going to be bummed out by that. But I think the reality of things are here, Maria. Look, we know the consumer stayed strong. We saw retail sales were really strong last month. And I think you've seen more of a shift in spending than the fact that people have just, like, stopped spending altogether. Um, and meanwhile, uh, I'm you know, relatively optimistic on this earnings season. It's been a mixed bag so far. Uh, Phil bummed me out a little bit there. But I think the reality of it is the market's already priced in the fact that earnings are going to be weaker this quarter, right? We've seen the P.E. ratio on the, on the S&P 500 come down like 25 percent. And most money managers right now, if you look at Bank of America had a survey last week, are seeing with the same amount of cash they had back during like the, the tech bubble when that burst. Uh, they're sitting with less stock on their portfolios than they did during when we had the credit crisis, you know, back during the great financial crisis. So I think your bigger risk here is you could get a huge melt up just because the pessimism is so great. I, you know, I say embrace the gloom right now. Bull markets climb a wall wary. I'd be getting in here. I'd be very, very nervous that the market could melt up on you just because, again, so, many, so much negativity has been priced into these markets.